back. Um, our next open mic is going to be Stanley Pfefferman. And uh, he's an incredible person, but I'm not doing long introductions. No. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, take a second to put the mic up. While I'm raising the mic, I just say something about the little clutch of poems that I've, I'll be reading in my three minutes or so. Uh, I heard Brandon read the other day at the art bar, and then I realized, you know, that uh, the Greeks, Eros, was a deity. So erotic poetry, from a Greek point of view, is spiritual, and uh, Pan is a semi-deity, and that, so poems about nature are also spiritual, and then there are poems more closer to religion or religion practice. So I have a little clutch that kind of move through those areas in a very short time. <sighs> Trembling aspen hairs, quick tail of squirrel, move in you. Slight wind, red tulips, touch, and again, touch. This world is big enough to be my lover. She forgets me. Tomorrow, I'll see her everywhere, playing with the distances. Thank you. Thank you. Then this one is more uh, spiritual. <laughs> it's called I Think of Her, more formally spiritual. Uh, fourth night of the waxing moon. I see it as my lady's neck ornament. The wind is weathered, tough and gnarled, as a ponderosa root torn from rock. It smashes this meditation hut, which shudders like a heart, waiting and attentive. That, it is that my heart yearns for in the lull of the wind. One star, two owls hoot, a momentary breeze sups through the bow of Ponderosa, and I think of her. Got to be going in. Open the cabin door, heat, and the smell of food. I think of her. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, wow. Uh, this one is entitled Meditation, What's It Like? And it kind of moves from the ridiculous to the ridiculous, going through some other phases, not many, it's very short. Meditation, what's it like? It's like sitting on a blowtorch. In the rain and the rainbow, while air drinks her lovely juices, and to yellow goes the green. It's like the Buddha sitting here watching his mind fill with scene after scene of all the stupid things you and your friends ever did or said. Thank you. Uh, Oh, that's it. And then there's one more, which is the really spiritual one. Well, this one, this one is um, it's a devotional poem. It's called Meeting the Guru, and it's a full-fledged uh, devotional poem in a very weird light. Meeting the Guru. Some things never change, always change. Cricket song, for instance, who you are. Cricket song is who you are, some kind of continuity in my life, a thread running like a stallion through the patchwork of perceptions as these eyes, ears, noses, tongues, bodies, minds unfold our world. Who you are never changes. Your neck is pine tree, back and shoulders are cliff. Your eyes are crows, the kindness in them lake, dark and inscrutable. You are the bright moon riding on water. You see everything simply. You are the nature of compassion. 
The doors of Terminal 1, Gate D, arrivals open and shut. They are a mouth, a mind, a womb, a vulva. Images pass from that world to this one. We are satisfied. We wait for you. Have eyes, ears, nose, etc. Only for you. You are in the hands of customs. You are giving them a thorough going over. I think of you that way and enjoy waiting. Like the sun from behind a passing cloud, you are there. Thank you. Thank you so much, Stan.